there is too much going on right now. The BMP is engined out to our right side of the screen. The T6, the T72 is engined and tracked and hit with AT right in the middle here. Both sets of armor deciding to just run base first into the objectives with absolutely no infantry cover, all getting tracked and just sitting ducks for AT. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a round of squad from the top down. But instead of the usual maps like Yeharifka, Al Basra, or Narva, we're taking a look at Kamdesh, quite possibly one of the least liked maps in the game. If I'm being honest, Kamdesh just really doesn't make any sense to me. The roads go nowhere, the hills aren't even really hills, and the towns are just these weird, horrible blobs and collections of buildings. It's usually overall not a good time playing on Camdesh, but in this round, we tried out the new Australian layer of Random Advance and Secure, which gave each side two tanks and two IFEs right at the start of the game. Things that are usually delayed at least 15 minutes, making for an incredibly chaotic rollout. I don't think I've ever had this much fun on Camdesh before, but I can confidently say that this round was awesome and hilarious to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with the map or game mode that you would like to see in the next episode. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. The live streams are a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. All right, guys, MEA against the Aussies. For the MEA, we have the T62, T72S. So you have the T72 uh, export variant, so it has a lot more frag rounds. It has no ATGM included. The BMP1, BMP2, uh, the Samir cars, and some Lodges. With the Aussies... Four, we're taking our tank to Nara into my move mark. going to support you. Two you Abrams, M1, A1 Abrams tanks, and two Aslabs with a couple uh, Bushmasters. And this should actually be interesting. Two tanks right out the, the gate. I'm thinking we might uh, might stick with our, our tank crew to start off. These Abrams with this camo. I love the party buses, though. No. <laughs> I, it just looks like a fun time to be in that thing, you know? Roll up to a point. MG's blaring. I'll just spill out the back. And off we go. I'm actually surprised there's no... Is it only invasion that has helicopters? I think a, a helicopter in this map for RAS might, might not be a bad idea. Alright, so MEA does have both their tanks and BMPs out. So it will be a fair... I guess a fair fight. Oh, wait a second! No Aslavs! Wow, that's actually... Huge. Man, Aslavs on Camdash. The wheeled vehicles on this map is just so much better than the track. I think this is this is going to come back and bite the uh, the Aussies. Uh, additionally, you have two tanks are kind of splitting up. Maybe they're working together a little bit. But you have a big armored blob down here. I, I think this is going to not be very good for the Aussies here in the next couple minutes. As you have MEA pushing straight north. They're about to get into position to see quite a few Aussies coming right down the road. Oh, this might be a fantastic position for an ambush. The Abrams right off the right side of this Lodgy. It's a who sees who first. They should hear the engine. They should see him. No way. This is why you need a commander. That didn't just happen. They drove right past a full Lodgy. Oh. Oh, wait. They might, might turn around. No, they didn't see him.
They ha do they have? They don't have any AT. AT on the far side. Hat pushing a little too close. Oh, this is not good. The Abrams thinks they're in a fantastic spot to get eyes on. And don't realize they're about to get blasted by a men arm. The hat misses his shot, but luckily RPG 26 on the south side able to track the Abrams in one of the worst spots on the entire map. Oh, this is not where you want to be. Thankfully. The seven is very not all right. The seven is very not all right. That is a, you're, you have just gotten the luckiest of lucky plays. If you are Fritz and Bandago right now, that tandem missing is, is, oh goodness. And we have South side. You have the BMP coming in there. These guys down South, the BMP and tanks. I was about to say are going to know that there's a bunch of Aussies just north of them, but they do not see. Is it Marnorty taking a nice little uh, HE, maybe a heat round? I don't know if he had a an RP. Yeah, he was an AT4 most likely. AT4 or, or Law takes a shot, and the BMP cannot push forward. Well, he's ambushed. You can see the Abrams. This is a long range tank battle against a T62. Track, I can't move. Oh, this is just not a good spot. One crew member left for Fritz and the Abrams. You can see the T62. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Am I okay? No, I'm not. Yeah. There's a lot happening. One tandem round comes in. And another tank round. And Fritz is just going to be pretty much left for dead. Enemy NBT's dead. Tandem round finally mops him up. That is just so unfortunate. I don't think they even realize that this hab is up. They got a radio down right next to him. And they're none the wiser. Ozzy's already down one tank. You heard on comms. Oh my gosh! As the second Ozzy tank is ambushed. Did he did not just get killed by the BMP? He did. The BMP one finishes off the Ozzy Abrams with a heat round. Tree and Celtic coming around with the flank. You have one tank left. It does look like... No. Oh, dude, I don't understand. We heard on comms just a second ago that the T-62 was dead. The T-62 is very not dead. The BMP... There is too much going on right now. The BMP is engined out to our right side of the screen. The, T6, the T-72 is engined and tracked and hit with AT right in the middle here. Both sets of armor deciding to just run face first into the objectives with absolutely no infantry cover, all getting tracked and just sitting ducks for AT. T-72 is it without their repairman, Cajun dead on the outside of it. One track down, Spank and Dank and Chewy left pretty much all by themselves. This It's just... We have one. The T-62 is the only one who's been out by himself. Crazy Bones living up to his name. Going to be trying to drop C4. Drop C4 running the engine of the T-72. Two hundred and ninety-two tickets for the Aussies, three hundred and ten for MEA, and honestly, right now, 
based on that start, I thought the Aussies were going to be out a lot more. Not yet. But some vehicle misplays by MEA are making it a much more even game than it really should be. There it is. A little C4 action. Doesn't do much. A law. Slamming into the side of the T-72 as well. And that is not a very good looking T-72. Dark gray smoke kicking off. And the BMP, which was engine earlier, looks like he's finally up and trying to come to the aid of the T-72. And you, know, you got red and white smoke. You can see... Well, let's get the, the correct here. Why? I don't understand what just happened. Oh my goodness, what a huge play! The BMP with a frag round kills one, two, three, four, five Aussies. If I don't know if it was Chewy or if it was Cajun, somebody just decided to run outside of the T72 if he had just stayed alive for a second longer. The BMP had come out with a frag round and he gets tracked himself. T72 finally goes down, but the BMP doing a fantastic job. Kills all the infantry that has surrounded the T72, even cool golem. And this BMP right now is MVP. Takes another law round from I am your friend. My last time I think it was still alive somehow. I don't understand. This BMP is doing such a good job. Really playing and punching above its weight right now. Especially the type of weaponry and terrain. And Celtic is still repairing. Fritz, I am your friend, Code Red, and cooking up some dubs, flanking around the backside. And finally goes down. That, that BMP, you should be proud of yourself if you're that crew. If you die after all that, you did your job. Fantastic plays by the BMP. Just got a little too overextended, but I think he was trying to help out his T-72. Really good effort. And we are about all square. After all that, only two tickets separate the sides. Aussies, 272. MEA, 274. Let's take a look at the caps real quick. Uh, Darren, OP, Chaxton, and Ka Capo are up for MEA with OP, Leaks, and Kyle for the Aussies. So MEA just managing to get the middle cap. But we can see the Aussies are pushing in from the west side pretty well. I think we are just because of, of the, the camo and how the train is. We're probably going to have a lot of... I mean, it's almost impossible to see yep. infantry at this side, huh? While doing I mean, look how, look how well the Aussie camo blends into to Camdash. That, that's incredible. It is so hard to see. Oh, oh. Nice little Aussie fire team. Trying to push this west side. They have overrun. This is an MEA fob. This this hab right now there's overrun. Fuck. MEA. I don't think they see where exactly the radio is oh, just yet. But they will because... Oh, God. This is so frustrating to see, guys. I wonder where the radio is. Hey, maybe it's by that Lodgy. If you guys are going to put radios in bushes, radios under trees, trying to do sneak, sneaky radios, it is completely worthless if you then park your lodge and keep it parked right next to the radio. Three, to that will go down. Vladdy, Lag Lord, Commander there. Niss, Gumminator, all these guys yeah, should find that radio that. super easy. And the west side of Capo is not looking good for MEA. I don't know what this this tank is trying to shoot at. I think he's just popping off a shot. I, you know, you gotta clear the barrel. 
You know? Have we spotted a fob yet? Clearing, the, clearing the barrel. Here, right before they get to main. <laughs> you gotta make sure you don't have anything as you uh, go back to rearm and reload. As the west side of Capo falls to the Aussies, the even western side, the western -er -er side, falls to MEA. MEA with a good flank on the west. Pretty much, it looks like you can see this is a uh, an Aussie Lodgy here. Honestly, if this is me, I kill this Lodgy. I don't know. This Lodgy came in from the start of the game. I don't know if there's any build or ammo left inside of this Lodgy. It's pretty it's pretty common for yeah, I'm gonna try and push over and for squad leaders to just drop half, you know, and save for later. Uh, I, de I destroy this 100% of the time. Because if Aussies are able to push back to this Lodgy, they can get a radio, they can get a hab. It's really, really easy for them to reset. Despite that good reaction to the Western push by the Aussies from the NEA. You can see right here, Kigo, Duster, Adam are trying to push West right where they got overrun. And they are able to ambush the little Samir car. Kigo, little snake in the grass. He is all out by his lonesome right now. A little medic. These are some of the most... These moments where you're all by yourself and you know there's an entire enemy, enemy team to next to you. You both hate it and you love it. But I'll tell you what, if I'm in this position, I'm super happy that I'm a medic right now. One yeah, medic yeah, we're, we're in the shade. Keeping himself uh, bandaged, keeping himself healed up. He can he can keep this entire squad at bay pretty well if he has good shots. Steve. Straight ahead of him, I don't think Kigo saw exactly where Steve was. But if Kigo just plays smart, just is patient, we can probably keep these guys pinned up. But that might not even need to happen as the Aslabs finally come into play. Rona and Lennon on the west side of the western side. Western. West. They're even more westerer than the westerer push. Two LAVs from squad one and three. And it looks like the MEA are just going to be fishing a barrel out in this compound. I don't even see a rally right now. This will just eventually get mopped up. Hammer, Zach Sig, Harry Hands. These guys will be mopped up. Oh god, this is just. <laughs> it's almost rude. <laughs> if he if he sees them, oh, are they not going to look left? Zack and Hammer might get out alive. Sorry, curse of the commentator right now. It takes an HG round to the face. And EMEA are wiped. In the meantime, Capo has fallen to the Aussies. And this is unfortunate. You have a good push from MEA. They probably had spent this past time flanking around, getting a Lodgy set up, getting ready to push Kyle. But they have come a little too late. If I'm squad three in this big blob of MEA, I need to redirect Southwest as soon as possible. But they're going to be in for kind of a long game of just running behind. Capo, 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 whatever it's called, is captured and secured by the Aussies. Just like that, 291 tickets to 221. That ticket swing is huge, especially with the amount of vehicles that the Aussies have already lost. Oh, you see, oh, the Aussies, they're all streaming down. Camdash, it's so easy to wander on down into the next point. You can see the T62. I think he's trying to shoot through the trees into the next objective. He doesn't see him. Look how hard it is. You, Aussies are running through the grass right here. You got AT pushing up.
It's almost impossible to see these guys. T-62, none the wiser to an entire infantry squad within 20 meters of their right side. Well, maybe they saw... They might have seen the, uh, the top of the helmets. That right as they crested, helmets given away. They know something's over here. Popping a frag round. That was a really smart frag round. Hitting the tree so that way anyone below them gets fragged. But just as they do... AT around the backside hits the track of the T-62 and they are stuck on an incline. This is not a good spot if you are the T-62. Now that I've said this for probably the fourth vehicle, I don't think there is a good spot for vehicles on Camdesh. Everywhere is horrible. An incline, you got rocks. You got dead zones. You got bushes. Camdash, just, just camp the moment you spawn into Camdash, your vehicle is in a bad position yeah. in Camdash. You can, you can just hear the Aussies. They are discussing how exactly they can try to take on this T-62, but you can see they have to give up. The frag rounds doing work. They'll probably keep an eye out on the right side of their tank for a little bit longer, but Parma Violet should get their tracks up. And although it was a great ambush, the, the Aussies are not able to mop up the T-62 kill. If anything, it keeps them on, you know, on edge. It slows them up a little bit. It allows the rest of the Aussies to try to push in. And honestly, if I'm the Aussies before I deal with West OP Chacton, you need to deal with this attack pod that has popped up on the east side of Capo. You can see the stream of blue. They are not running towards the objective. They are running towards this MEA fob. They have no vehicles to support either. See one LEV on the north side. You have a, a PMV on Capo as well. Yeah, hey, six, you might want to pull back. That tank is in the area. Is very I'm not... Yeah, 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 he just buzzed me. Got it. Oh. Apologize for the quick movements real quick. But the PMV, Seabiss and, and Soggy Toast being a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's why. T-62. says thank you very much and the t62 is just zoning out the aussies <laughs> i mean command even told them right they said hey you might want to watch out here they're cooking up some dubs and swizzy He's the MEA Lodgy. This is the same Lodgy that it... Oh, my goodness. Manroy might be extremely lucky. I don't know if he turns around. He doesn't see him. Oh, man. Skangai, Laz, and his Lodgy are extremely lucky. They had an AT right off the left, and they are just yeeting right through the hills. There's just so enemy Aussies all around this point. An AT flies right over. Oh, but they run in the, in the most dangerous enemy on Camdesh. The tree, enemy tree, stops the Lodgy. AT takes a shot right into the engine block. And the MEA Lodgy catches fire and explodes as Skang is the only survivor. Just unfortunate. He had done so well and gets caught up right at the last tree before he's mopped up. By Fritz. Great ambush on the Lodgy. Unfortunate timing to run into a tree. We can see the BMP oh, is now back up. Let's see if the tanks are up. That's going to be soon. 
And while that has happened, you can see why the Lodgy was trying to run away. The Lodgy seems to have tried to just make a, a, a final retreat as the Aussies have actually taken out the Hab. You can see it's white, so the, the Hab has been dug down. They're trying to find the, the radio. It looks like the radio has been found by the Aussies. The east side of Capo is now secured by the Aussies. Great push. They need to focus on this defensive side before they can push uh, offensive on OP Jackson. Yeah, it's going down. Now, if we see the northern push, this is the remnants of the attack on, on Kyle earlier. Uh, the MEA had set up a fob to push Kyle right as Capo was going down. Capo? 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 So now, these guys are playing catch-up. I think this this whole block is going to be not even really a fight, just onesie twosies being picked off. And it's going to be very important for MEA to reset an OP Chaxton to try to grind some tickets. 238 tickets to 177. Right, guys, just hold up for a second. I'm going to be getting a hab down on the north side of Chaxton. I'm just waiting for my Lodgy to hobble back to main. And just like that, Ozzy's planning their attack fob for Chaxton. Take a look. Abram's up in just about a minute. And the tank getting a little more brave here. D62 mark accurate. You see a handful. I'm trying to look for AT real quick to see if they can actually threaten this. See Grenadier, an SL. There is a hat and lat out west with squad two. And a couple riflemen as well. D62 mopping up a couple vehicles that have been just laying in the road. One PMV down. Another one. Oh, actually, that's a Samir car out off to the right from the, the start of the game. Right to your left here. That is the fire team with Lat and Hat. So it is very important if the Aussies want to take this T60 out, which has been playing very, very well, by the way. Knowing when to zone out, when to take long range fights, when to push in. Extremely well played T62 on a map where you think the T72 would actually excel. Uh, this is I, I I think this T62 knows that the hat right here you see a hat is waiting for the Abrams to spawn in any minute now. He's probably trying to take his chance to ambush the Abrams. Your command chat giving absolutely zero help on where the T62 is gone. BMP as well. Lodgy, Lodgy. We have a pretty good reset by MEA. But you do have Little Bear and was it Wix here scoping out. Actually, hold on. You act, you even have Aussie Infantry actually on OP Jackson themselves. Marnodi actually pushes the objective. He's in the hab. Takes out Steve and Barnaby. What a huge play. And he pushes inside the hab. And he's just going to say thank you very much. Free kills, please, because look at this hab. That's incredible. A poorly placed hab. They had done the hab. They built it halfway on the assets. And they have indirectly caused... A kill box situation for, for Marnotti. That's right. incredible. <laughs> oh my god, it's just so mean. But I, I don't even feel bad. It's just a bad hab. <laughs>
It's so bad. Uh, five, be oh no! <laughs> it's so bad. This is it. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Are they not talking to each other? Oh, he has to reload. Oh no! He reloaded at the worst moment. Look at the absolute chaos that is the have. If they just get a grenade, a little bit of push, it just it's just bodies on bodies on bodies. <laughs> oh, this is not where you want to be when you're spawning in. Like out of all the places, guys. Why would you put your hab so close to so many map assets and the wall? Like, all right, as that this whole dumpster fire aside, if you put a hab next to a big wall, it makes it so it's so easy to push and proxy. You can have infantry run up, protect it, and proxy this. This is just not a good hab. Not a good hab at all. BMP tank T62 on the west side. Aslav for the. the oh, hold on a second. T62. They call T72. It's actually T62. Abram should have the advantage here. I don't think the T62 realizes that the Abrams is straight ahead of him because they are being shot at by AT. Great shot by the Abrams. T62 just says, you know what? I'm not even going to look. This should be game over. Oh, into the engine block. What an awkward fight. You can't even really see the tanks. T62 finally goes down. That was actually incredibly lucky for the Abrams because they were tracked. You can see. Where's the MP? Oh, he might have been killed and given up instantly. But the Abrams was actually tracked right at the start of that engagement. Really good on Keystone. Yes, it's tracked. It's accurate. To keep the target acquisition during that whole engagement. Because when you lose a track, it is actually very hard to figure out where your target is as the tank spins around. Fantastic work by the Abrams crew. Honestly, even though the T-62 has gone down, the T-62 has done extremely well out of all the tanks and vehicles on the map right now. That T-62 has played the, the best. BMP, the you can see the BMP down on the south side. And the LAVs for the Aussies are pretty much just saying, you know what, we got killed before. Let's just stick with our infantry. How about we don't go out all on ourselves? Aslav mopping up the remnants of a transport truck. Halt here. Halt. And Lennon... Oh, fuck. I just take it. Demolishes Nike. And honestly, though... You know, that, that's, that, that was good eyes. That's very hard to see, people in this map and uh was that oh i am your friend no not i am your friend i am very confused yes steve was actually behind the burning lodgy i thought that was a team kill for a second steve with a great shot scaring the lav away and actually hits the LAV a second time. That was a great shot. I, I mean, the LAV is so close to blowing up. Steve might be able to I rearm and, and push out and take another back shot back. at this one. Steve, you can see him running. He's making a gun yeah. for it. Uh, Dark gray smoke. Steve wants his kill.
I don't know if he's going to get it, though. Day five, is there a BMP near you still? This would be an incredible shot if he's able to hit it. He's about to crest the hill. A second BMP is also moving up the road. I don't doubt it's a, it, it couldn't happen. I'm a repair. Oh no! He's gonna stop out of repair right here! Is Steve still running? Dom! Oh no! All you had to do was not stop! You see Dom creeping. They see the smoke. Oh, the Aslav crew had it. And now it's up to the RPGs to make the plays. Alright, my logic got hit in the hat. We're, uh, we're not gonna be able to set up a pop on the north. I don't know how Dom doesn't see him yet. Oh no! Turn to your right! Is that it? It's the giant smoke cloud! What? Oh no. Uh, never mind. Steve! Is running away! Oh, they don't realize how close they were to getting an Aslav kill. They need to be observant. Look around and thank you, Dom! What a shot! Got to the top of the rocks, kept looking, and then finally saw the smoke plume. And with the RPG-29, first shot takes out the Aslav. And all the Aslav had to do was keep driving. And there he goes. 176 tickets for the Aussies. But the MEA have been hemorrhaging tickets. 68 tickets for the MEA after losing Capo. They have had just way too many give ups. 135 deaths for the Aussies, 174 for MEA. And we have a BMP. Oh, goodness. Marnati. I don't know. Was that a. <laughs> that was a good, that was an enemy mine, actually. Great mine for, uh, for NEA. Marnati taking the Lodgy, trying to do a Lodgy run, and actually pops to a mine. Unless they push down. BMP is about to hit a mine for themselves! Oh, they might have, oh, they saw it just in the nick of time. Go right around, it also might have been an NEA mine, so they might have seen it themselves. MEA are not out of it. The tickets do not look good. If MEA are able to cap, cap, capo, 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 then they will get 50 tickets. Oh, and if they are able to take out, if MEA rather are able to take out. How's capo looking? Yeah, have, have, the Abrams have Dom, him. who took out the Aslav earlier, he might have one more tandem round. He does! He lines up for a shot! Right into the side of the Abrams. Very unlucky not to track him. It doesn't even look like it did much damage. Usually they'd be smoking at least. MEA Sue strikes Capo. And the Abrams, oh, very unlucky for the BMP-1. Oh, very unlucky. If the Abrams was tracked, the BMP-1 would have been able to stay alive. Abrams not tracked, even with a tandem round in, in the side of it. Able to push up and sees a BMP completely caught. Looking the other way, and that is, I, we can't hear MEA comms. But you see the map markers. I don't know why the BMP was still there if it saw the map markers. And maybe just a misplay, miscommunication from MEA. And 149 tickets for the Aussies, 37 for MEA. And just, oh, you can see this might actually work out for MEA. The cap, you see the red half-circle dome egg-shaped thing. 
is the cap zone for Capo. And MEA, if these guys out here, Raider, Zach, Treebler, Dark, and Go, are able to just push in a little bit, they're able to start to actually cap the point as an RPG round. Frag round comes into the top of the radio room. You have so many Aussie infantry just bunched up. Frag rounds, GLs, anything. The Aussies are absolutely pinned in almost just a, a valley. As you can see, the amount of MEA up on the hills, they just need to push onto the objectives. GL goes off. Wrong side of the building. Aussies okay. Take a look. Shaxton is overrun. Not what MEA wants to see. And it looks like what we were just talking about, a fob. Oh, the, the fob built within the asset of OP Chaxton, making it extremely easy to overrun, has given Aussies free reign to push right up to the objective. Dr. Sh Dr. Shed and It's Your Boy Blue, the last ones for NEA. Chaxton's ours. We're taking it now. You hear it on comms. Chaxton's is ours. Only one or we two. NEA left outside, and that is going to be probably GG. Unless something crazy can happen for NEA. In the meantime, let's look at the, the hold. We have the T-72 and BMP-2. Oh, where'd the Abrams go? Hey, one Abrams RTB, one Abrams back to the front. 50% on checks. Yeah, we not, we and you can you see the just the south the side. Some down. markers um, coming up. Jackson. A lot of infantry for Aussies pushing out and trying to spot vehicles coming out. 22 tickets to 133. You actually lose 20 tickets for uh, losing a cap, so... The game is all in on the OP Jackson cap. Not quite sure what just was shot. It almost sounded like an ATGM. Thanks for the ammo plug. Appreciate it. I'm just not seeing one. Oh, hello. A tow fob actually built at the... I don't understand that. The tow ATGMs are actually being shot into the hat or into the uh, objective. That's so unfortunate, guys. Two ATGMs, dead meme. I don't know if he's just memeing, but that's un that's a thousand ammo wasted when the Abrams. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Another 500 ammo wasted. When the Abrams is right around, right around the corner. Oh, that's so... I know you think the game's almost over. I know you think you're trying to clear the objective, but 1,500 ammo going down as an Abrams is right around the corner. You never know where vehicles are with ATGMs. T-72 trying to push OP Chaxton. You are seeing 50% capped on OP Chaxton for the Aussies. But frag rounds are just slamming into the point. It is not over just yet. But the T-62 or T-72 rather is tracked and engine as the BMP pushes right into the objective. And tries to make a, a mad dash to clear out the point. Abrams trying to peek for himself. Oh, I think the Abrams is distracted by the BMP. The T-72 should have a free shot. 99 tickets to 8. Abrams not even looking. 
at the T-72. Oh, but he it was never disabled. Abrams takes another shot. And just like that, the Abrams is able to back away. Oh, just to think, guys. The T-72 had bought, gotten at least two shots onto the Abrams. If that ATGM still had ammo, the Abrams would be dead. And they said, stop the cap on OP Jackson. They actually are able to hold it. Oh, no. OP Jackson is being recapped. And a grenade goes off as scores, trying to get the tank right back up. Most of the enemy here. Most enemy infantry. I I think that's still going to be it. Two tickets to 85. I think MEA did really well to nearly pull this one back. But a fantastic defense out east on Capo by the Aussies. 80 tickets to two. And there it goes. Ozzy's managed to keep on an 80 ticket win. 203 deaths with 232. It was pretty dang close. Great game though.